Oh, bad kick from Andy Marshall. Palace will come back into possession just on halfway with Black down this right hand side as Johnson in the box. That's who he looks for. Johnson gets a header over the top of Andy Marshall and he scores. Just under 20 minutes gone here. It was Andy Marshall, an awful goal kick. Jim Magilton throws the ball away in disgust. Tommy Black picked it up down this right hand side. A couple of touches, ball into the centre. And the looping header from Andy Johnson. Town a goal down. Richard Naylor cleared it comfortably enough. Drops onto the edge of the box. He can Shipley bring it down. He can. Turns away from his man. Not shooting up. Great tackle from a town player. But they've scored anyway. Crystal Palace have doubled their lead. A mix up at the back from Ipswich Town. Hands are on heads. It looked like they had opportunities to clear it. They did. 16 minutes gone Crystal Palace 2 Ipswich down nil. corner in by Jim Magilton Naylor's up there gets the flick on across to the far side and Richard Naylor has scored Ipswich down are back in this he's got forward he's been a nuisance in recent weeks he's got a few goals this season he got on that one for his fourth of the campaign 25 minutes gone Crystal Palace 2 Ipswich Town 1 Santos Cucci Naylor all available at the far post, which is who Magilton will be aiming for. Right footed ball. Kuchi gets the flick on. Back comes to Jermaine right on this far side. Gets the ball back across the post, but it's forced in. Richard Naylor's second goal of the night. I think it came off his knee at the far post after birthday boy right. It squared the ball back across. Who cares? Crystal Palace 2, Ipswich Town 2. As Richards helps it on down the left for Westlake. Shouts of Howland Ball. But Cunago's in there. He slides in on the ball from Westlake. A goal from nothing for Town on this occasion. They've completely turned things around. It was 2-0 after 16 minutes but after 32 minutes of the second half get this Crystal Palace 2 Ipswich Town 3 Tommy Miller will come out and challenge Popovich who turns a nice ball to Ratledge he's got goal side of Tommy Miller Tommy Miller makes a turn oh an awful challenge from Tommy Miller and quite rightly a penalty to Crystal Palace an absolutely shocking challenge from Tommy Miller and I'd be very surprised to see it. a single Ipswich Town player argue and not one of them has forward comes Friedman not on this occasion no Friedman bangs it straight down the middle of his goal the town keeper went to his left hand side less than two and a half minutes on the clock here at Selhurst Park Crystal Palace three Ipswich Town three Tommy Miller now knocks it forward for Kuchi Kuchi through the centre can Kuchi get past Bertalan he's got a pass the keeper has it gone in yes it has Shefki Kuchi's <laughs> third goal for Ipswich Town less than a minute after Palace had made it 3-0 he lifted it over Bertalan a couple of bounces the defender couldn't get back 43 minutes gone in the second half oh Oh, what a game. Crystal Palace 3, Ipswich down 4.